What is the carnivore diet? Oos, oos. A nutritionist will tell you that the carnivore diet is where you only eat fish, meat and eggs and a hint of muff pie. As a fibre supplement of course. More like a, what supplement? I'm on the carnivore diet and so far my experience has been this. First week, can't shit at all. Second week onwards, shit myself constantly. Does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? DISGUSTING! But alas you carnivorous cucks, the carnivore diet is much more than just torrential turds. You see, when you do the carnivore diet, you literally do a throwback Thursday to the most underrated humans to ever exist. Neanderthals. The Neanderthal life was this, they get up in the morning, go hunting with the boys, come home to a barbecue for dinner, fish taco for dessert, rinse and repeat. That is fucking living Barry. That ain't living Barry, this is living. Throw in 40 hours of useless productivity in an office every week and you my friend are a modern day slave man, I mean caveman. Except instead of hunting deer, you're hunting for the next trend to base your entire personality off. 2022 was a year of marathons. <laughs> Gay. 23 was a year of saunas and ice baths. 24 so far has become run clubs and carnivore diets somehow. And what's in store for 2025? I don't know. You're going to have to hit up Andrew Huberman for that. He seems to be the one making the decisions about all of this. Now the carnivore diet has come into fashion through many online celebrities. And they all fall into two categories. As shown here by my hem diagram. They're either medical experts My name's Dr. Sins Or they're jack dudes So firstly and most famously we have Joe Rogan Known for being the supreme leader of all jack bald white men And also sort of famous about his comments about a spicy cough Which is why we call him Joe Rogan Josh Now he's not a medical expert but he is jacked So he goes over there in the jack section Fucking hope that stays Next one Jordan Venison, yes, all of these are meat-based puns, get with the fucking program. Much like Venison, he's lean and mean, but he's also a medical expert. So he goes over here, medical expert. Next up, Dr. Sean Baker, the sausage maker. Now, as his name suggests, he is a doctor, so he's a medical professional, but he's also super jacked. This man has some absolute thick sausage arms on him. So this enigma goes right bang in the middle. Jacked and a medical professional. Next up, poor fuck Saladino. Again, he's super jacked, but also he's a doctor. So he goes in the middle with Mr. Sean Baker. Next up, the liver queen. Now this man was once the face of carnivores across the planet. Although he was outed as being on a fuck ton of steroids. So that begs the question, are steroids allowed on the carnivore diet? I don't know. We're going to have to ask Google that one. What is synthetic testosterone made out of? It is often derived from plant sources such as yams or soy. <laughs> the most testosterone fueled thing in the world, literal medical testosterone, is made out of soy. So... That means that the liver queen, much like his online presence, suddenly become You're cancelled And finally, Kevin Beef Stop. Now this man is jacked and he's a doctor, but he's a doctorate of dentistry. And dentists are sort of like the beyond meat of the doctor world. Like they think they should be there. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. But no one else does. But technically, he is still a medical expert, so he goes in the middle, probably more jack side. So let's now answer the question of what makes someone want to be on the carnivore diet. All the medical professionals in my hand diagram will tell you that it's healthy. All the jack dudes on the hand diagram will tell you that it helps them be jacked. I've got the muscles. Ladies love me. You see, it's actually insecurity that drives people to only eat steak for three meals a day. Men like myself, who are grown up picky eaters. We hated vegetables as a kid and we begrudgingly eat them as grown ups only so that we keep up the appearance of having healthy balanced diet. Whereas all we want to eat is steak and eggs. 
But as of now, our dreams have been realized. It's been 2,000 years, and the carnivore diet is back in fashion, baby. Because next time you have a T-bone as you pack lunch in the office, instead of everyone labeling you as a psychopath, you can hide your insecurities behind the guise of science. And now let's finish the video with a series of analogies so that everyone understands what it's like to be on the carnivore diet. Being a carnivore is like having a girlfriend that lets you have sex with her 12 times a day, guilt-free. Being a carnivore is a hug to your immune system. Being a carnivore is like having your crush like your back. Being a carnivore feels like when you're a kid and you have your birthday party at Macca's. Being a carnivore and eating steak every day is like watching the same porno three times a day for the rest of your life. Being a carnivore is a dietary equivalent of that photo of Putin riding a bear shirtless looking like a fucking hunk. Being a carnivore fills you with testosterone and makes you feel like you could ride a dinosaur. Being a carnivore is like finally sticking to a New Year's resolution, except this is piss easy and what I wanted to do anyway. Being a carnivore is like being salt bay, except without all the flamboyant cuck vibes. And finally, being a carnivore is a kick in the face to your father, who told you when you were younger that if you don't eat your vegetables, you won't grow up to be big and strong. Ah, oh, fuck.